Uh, our study this afternoon is going to be Christ temptations. Christ temptations, which is on Luke chapter 4, verse 1. From verse 1, and I read. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. Three, and the devil said unto him, if thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it may be made bread. Four. And Jesus say, answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread only, but by every word of God. And the, earth, and the devil taking him up into the high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt not, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Nine, and he brought and he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle on the temple and said unto him, if thou shalt be the son of God, cast there thyself down from hence, for it is written, he shall give his angel charge over thee to keep thee. And in their heart they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thou foot against a stone. And Jesus answering said unto him, it is said, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. So, uh, these are the temptations which our Lord went through. We won't look at them uh, and maybe try to see or to understand why he was to be tempted. Uh, sometimes people don't understand these temptations they just take them for granted. They don't know why he had to go this. And together, we, as the children of God, also must be tempted together as he was tempted, as we are going to see. So here, you must know that if you read verse 1, it says very clearly, and Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan. That means this temptation came after the baptism. After he was baptized, that is when this temptation started. So here we can see that the Spirit of God brought this Christ into the wilderness to be tempted. We must know that. In that, the devil was permitted. The demo, and the devil was permitted. And before we go on, I would like you to know a little bit about God in two states. 
the merciful God and the God of anger. When we say a merciful God, that is Christ, God, that is God in Christ. When we say God of anger, we mean God in the dark side. In the dark side of the devil or the kingdom of darkness. <clears throat> so here we can see that when Christ was baptized uh, the devil was permitted in the kingdom of God's anger to set upon Christ. He was permitted upon the gods of anger. So he was permitted to the devil on the dark side to tempt Christ because Christ was come from God. So Christ had come from the merciful God. But now God on the other side he is going to permit the devil to tempt Christ. Just the way this, uh, being the second Adam, he was going to be tested in the same way the first Adam was, test, was tempted. He was going to be tempted the same way the first Adam was tested and was tempted. That is in the Garden of Eden. And before we also go on, I would like to understand you to understand these three principles. There is the first principle, there is the second principle, and there is the third principle. The first principle, it is what we call darkness or fire or darkness. Let us use the word darkness. And that's where there is anger. That's where God is called the God of anger. There is the second principle where God is God of mercy. That is God in Christ. And there is the third principle where it is an outbirth of the first principle. That's what we see. That is the, the physical world that we see. That physical world that we see. And in this physical world, in most cases, everything is compacted to, everything comes from that other element by it is this world and this world is represented by a man flesh or this body of ours or the spirit of this world. That's what we call the... That means the first principle, God is not visible. In the second principle, in Christ, also he is not visible. But in the third principle, God is visible through man. And by Abinadam, Dio, Yeye, he is a similitude of God. So when man was created, when we say the first Adam, when the first Adam was created, he was created here in the third principle. But before he fell, before he fell, he was in the second principle because he had not this other body, this physical body, his body was spiritual because he was like an angel. So he had not physical body. But when he fell, that's when he got this physical body, like the world, the way it was. But before he fell, man had not this 
uh, this fleshly body. That's when we say man was like an angel. And even Adam himself, even Eve, uh, Eve, the wife of Adam, was inside Adam because he was like an angel. They were to give birth like angels, the way they give birth. So, Christ here, we want to see because if you don't understand this point, sometimes it is hard to understand the temptation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ uh, must be tested because the first Adam, the first Adam was tempted. How was he tempted? The first Adam was an angel-like. <clears throat> and he, has, he had no body like this one we have. He was completely, he was an angel, like an angel. And he was the son of God representing God in this world. And Adam was tempted by Satan from, and from the dark side. And where does Satan come from? Satan comes from the first principle. That is the first principle because after Satan fell, all the angels are in this second principle. Those, who are, those which, who are not fallen. But when he fell, he went back to this first principle. So he became a prince of darkness. You get the point? Now, there is one thing I want you to understand. That a soul of man, this Adam, <coughs> every soul comes from the first principle. Then it is generated into, into life in the second principle through Christ Jesus. You see now, until in Christ, until when it, it is in the, in the third principle, before it fall, it is completely a feasible figure or a feasible man having, and having these two principles and the third principle. I want you to get that way. So when we say that the devil was permitted to tempt Christ. Why? It is because the soul of the first Adam has the first principle and the second principle. So the devil, because he's in the first principle, he is in a position to reach the soul of, of man. So he reached the soul of Adam and he tempted Adam and Adam fell. He tempted Adam, and Adam had to fail. That's why Adam, and that's why Eve was to be taken out of Adam. So when Adam fell, Christ is coming again to make sure now, when Adam fell here, we see he was like an angel. But when he fell, he got this fleshly body of ours, or this worldly body. We didn't have it. And when he fell, he got this body of ours. Now, Christ is coming to make sure that we return into our first position where we are. We were an angel-like. Now, that's why he was to be born and, and to be born with our body. He was given our body, which is this one now, to come and fight this body so that when he defeat this, this worldly body, he is going to take us back into this angelical nature. So why was he to be tempted by Satan? Because here, Satan was allowed by God through the God of anger to tempt our Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because Jesus Christ had taken the soul of man. That's why he was called God and man. He had taken the soul of man and his body. 
Kwa hivyo now he is coming, he is born with his body and now Satan in the first principle tempted the first Adam and the first Adam fell and got this animal nature that we have. Christ has taken the animal nature and the same Satan is going to tempt him to see whether he is going to suck up to this animal nature or he is going to stand to stand and defeat this animal nature and go back and, and liberate man back to this Jericho nature. That's why now Satan is permitted to tempt him. At that point, Tuko sawa. So here, the first temptation here is which one? Let us hear the first temptation. Ibirishi akamwambia, ukiwa ndiwe mwana wa Mungu, niambie jiwe hili niwe mkate. Mm, English. And the devil said unto him, if thou be the son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. You see now here, the first temptation, the first temptation, command this stone to be the bread. Why? There, there now was no other meat or drink. Because Christ here is in the wilderness. There is no meat, no food. And the soul of Christ understood now very well what, yani, what house it was in, that it was in God, and that it was it could yani, and that it could it could of stone make bread. You get the point? Christ himself knew that yeah, yeah, he's the son of God, and he was in the house of God, and he had the power to make what? To make bread. Though he was a man in, in the first yani, Adam body, but he was a God and man. However, he knew. That he was, he was, and it was possible for him to do what? To do all that. To make stones to be bread. But there was one thing. Though he was in that body, it, but it must not, it must not eat, or it, it must not eat no other bread but heavenly bread. Lazima sasa asikubali kula nini? Akubali kula the other bread. He must now eat only heaven, heavenly. Because here is where the trick is. That Satan could, yani, that, that Christ as a son of God knew. This is the body that we have. And it must survive with what? With the other food. Sinikweli. Na yeye, he is in the wilderness. Na yeye, this other body is going to be hungry. Just like all of us are hungry. If you, if you don't, if you have eaten nothing. Remember, he is there now, how many days? So he is uh, hungry. Extremely. Extremely hungry. And he was the son of God, and in fact, it was possible for him to make anything and even eat it. But he must not eat this bodily food. He must eat heavenly food. Because he knew man cannot live on bread alone. He knew because he was the son of God. So that's why, and the other body must be hungry, he knew, that the soul might be rightly tempted, for the other body was hungry, as we have read it. Now, the heavenly body must overcome the other. He has the heavenly body and the earth, and the other, because he has taken, he is God and man. So even if Christ, you see him, people could see him in this world, he had this body that had to survive on this food that you are surviving with. 
At the same time, he was that he had that body of God, that what we call the earthly, yani the heavenly earth. Because even this earth, before it became physical earth, there is heavenly earth which form the spiritual body of God. So Christ had that spiritual body of God. About the authority, heavenly body. That means before even Adam fell, he was not to eat this earthly fruit. He had to eat heavenly fruit. However, Christ knew that now I must make sure I don't suck up to this earthly body. Because I want to defeat it. Because the first Adam fell because he admired this earthly food. And that's why he changed and he, he was overcome by the yani, by uh, the star the stars and was given this body that we are having. Sasawa. So Christ knew that uh, he must overcome the earthly, that the heavenly may be as it were dead and impotent, and that the heavenly and that the earthly may be as it were dead and impotent, and that the heavenly may keep the dominion. So he must, he must make sure the earthly is dead. It has no power anymore. And the heavenly must keep the, domi the dominion. It was not a simple war as people think. Because here now, he has this body, he is very hungry. But now here, there is a point, there is a breaking point. He must make sure the, the, the heavenly body keeps the dominion, but not in the, uh, the other. So here, as Adam stood in love and wrath when he was tempted, there stood both the kingdom against him and pulled at him. And as I've told you here, I want you to look it here properly. God willing, you are going to understand. Adam, when he was created, he was here because he was in the second principle. The soul came from the first principle, then in the second principle, it was made a living soul because it was also yani, in God, in the merciful God. But now, when he was created, he was under two powerful forces. Here is the center. Here is the uh, yani, is, yani, is, is hell or anger because anger here or dark, darkness means hell. And here is all the world or the spirit of this world under the power of the stars. So when he fell, there was a pull in Adam. Adam was pulled by the devil. There was a pull to go on the side of hell and the pull of the world. So when he fell, when he reasoned unto the devil, because he had the body, he had, he had, because he was, he was not a spirit, he had, he had the body, not like the, like the devil himself, then he fell into the third principle. And this third principle, which he fell, he was now controlled by the devil. If Adam had not fallen, he would have stood here, here, meaning the dark side would not have taken him. And he would have been over the second, over the, the, the third principle, meaning he would have been over this body of ours. Even the stars, everything. Adam, Adam, he could have been like God controlling his body and all the stars Meaning, Adam would never have gotten sick. Hange pata ugojwa. Hange kuwa na shida kupita katika walls kama hii. Hange kuwa na pita everywhere. There was no injury. Nothing. So, that's the way he went. But when he fell, 
Then he became under the power of the stars because he was given a body like that, that of animals and he became under the power of Satan because now he was helpless. Now Christ here now, the same thing now Christ here, he is under two powers. Satan is coming from the dark side and he is hungering in the third principle. Sijui kama hapo mnaona. Eh. Hata yeye sasa ako katikati ya nini? Ya nguvu ngapi? There is Satan in the dark side ambaye sasa anajaribu yeye na tena yeye tena na yeye ako na mwili ambaye unasikia nini? Unasikia njaa. Sasa hapo naye anataka sasa kuibadilisha sasa. Ndio wana pale. Anataka kuibadilisha ndio arudi sasa akishinda sasa itakuwa sasa akishida sasa atakuwa ameshi akishida shetani atakuwa sasa yeye ako juu ya huu mwili tena sasa ndio amemshinda na lakini satan anajua huyu nikitaka kumshinda i have to use the body ni mshida naye lakini sasa anataka kushida shetani kwanza kwa mwili ndio ashide mwili na ndio satan akose nguvu maana hapo anajua hapo ndio satan alikuwa ametega yeye so if Christ is going to trade in the kingdom of heaven then the kingdom of hell is going to be dead in it. Kwa hivyo wakati atashinda asimame na the kingdom of heaven. Maana hapa atakataa na mwili. Now the kingdom of heaven of hell of this world of hell is going to be dead in the kingdom of heaven. Maana yeye atakuwa sasa amesimama katika the kingdom of heaven. But the kingdom of heaven is predominant and the kingdom of fierceness is changed into joy that means wakati atashida in fact hapa itakuwa yeye sasa amefaulu kushida mwili na amefaulu kushida yani shetani in the kingdom of anger sasa meaning because now atakuwa ameshinda itakuwa his kingdom itakuwa ni the kingdom of joy yani of joy kwa sababu anger haitakuwa na nafasi na huu mwili hautakuwa na nini na nafasi tena kwake. Hiyo alikuwa anajua and that's why alikataa katakata eh, kufanya nini? Kukubali. So So in the temptation it was to try which kingdom in the soul might overcome. Because don't forget this temptation eh, this three kingdom I want you to understand here. These two kingdoms, let us call them two kingdom. That is the kingdom of heaven because this the third kingdom here ambaye ni huu mwili it is temporary. It is going to go. So the two kingdom ambaye stabaki in eternity are only two. That is hell and heaven. Sasa. So Satan yani Christ anajua wakati atashinda huu mwili, huu mwili atakuwa already amerudi pale ya heaven kwa sababu there are only two kingdom ambaye sasa zita survive wakati hata sisi wakati tutoka katika huu mwili itakuwa either you go to heaven or sasawa so uh, the temptation was to try which kingdom in the soul might overcome and therefore the food and drink was withdrawn from the other body kwa sasa hapa ni mashindano. Nasikia? It is a war. The soul here in this in the soul of every man there is two kingdom. Sasa. There is two kingdom. There is the kingdom of hell and heaven. So the temptation here ni which kingdom is going to prevail? Which of these two kingdom is going to, to prevail? So when and therefore the food and drink namwambia, was withdrawn from the other body Sasawa. and the kingdom of heaven was predominant in him so when this other food was withdrawn from him meaning you, he weakened this other body the kingdom of heaven becomes became predominant because you are, he denied 
the other body survive survive are you are you together because because this this yani adam adam was kept or what is keeping us here in this world we are after the flesh haja yetu yote ni chakula hata ukikuta mtu yote anafanya kazi anakuambia sasa lazima tufanye nini kwa hivyo kitu ya maana sana hapa duniani ni nini ni chakula kwa hivyo man has fallen he has been taken the soul yake imerudi baada ya nini ya chakula na wakati imerudi baada ya chakula ni kumaanisha it has it yani it yani it has no longer the power to uphold the kingdom of heaven kwa sababu ikirudi baada ya mwili inakuwa under the power of the star ni kumaanisha it has not the word of god it has not power to go back to god na wakati huo satan from the dark side anakuwa na power ya ya kucontrol this man that's why man is helpless in this world that's why satan anamtumia vile anataka na yeye hajui na hata wakati satani anamtumia sana ni pride and whatever anaona ako sawa sana maana he doesn't understand himself he is a man in darkness sawa sawa eh yeah. kwa hivyo lazima tujue kwa sababu Uh, temptation was to try which kingdom in the soul might overcome and therefore the food and drink was withdrawn from the earthly body and the kingdom of heaven was predominant in him in the whole eternity and in the deity in his deity and the kingdom of wrath and the kingdom of, of the devil were against him kwa hivyo kumaanisha Christ wakati anakataana hivi kwa sababu wako hapa katikati mwili the body is against you it is hungry ndelwana in it is chaku na satan also the other side is against you what are you looking at wako wapi ako na nguvu na which power tupa powers ambaye anataka kuvakam the devil and the body but the devil knows wakati mwili umeshinda amefanya nini ameshinda that's why binadamu haelewi wakati mwili umeshinda shetani amefanya nini na that's why satan anatumia mwili kuvinyilia watu wakati anakupatia kitu unakula kitu unakuta huko na tamaa ya kukula wewe ujui you have been overcome and satan knows that wewe nao umekuwa a good prey yake sasa yeye atakupeleka ata, ata vile anataka because he knows once you are overtaken by the by your body you have become part of certain why what do haja ikujua the reason why the reason why ukiaguka katika upadi ya mwili satan yako na control ni kwa sababu we are created by lucifer's material the kingdom of lucifer all this hii mambo nasikia mungu akachukua nini mcha hii mchanga it was the kingdom of who of lucifer ambaye ilianguka ambaye huyu Rusfa ndio Mungu anakuja anataka amuondoe arudishe hii kingdom aweke another angel which is man na kwa sababu huyu Rusfa alikuwa na kingdom hii kingdom it is that earth ambaye anajenga huu mwili kwa hivyo satan anajua you are created na huu mwili sasa yeye anajua once ukiingia katika mwili anakutempt na mwili manake yeye even satan himself is part of this body only difference ni moja yako na shetani it is because dio mungu asipatie satan direct power kwako aweze ampige kona kidogo ndio aweze kufanya his part sat dio mungu aka, aka, aka fanya this kingdom of satan iwe visible iwe tangible material kama vile tunaguza lakini satan akabaki in the spirit sasa ikawa sasa satan is a spirit it is very hard to control some of these things that we are doing kwa hivyo hata kana kwamba ako na nguvu it is controlled manake he is a spirit kwa hivyo akitaka kufanya kitu yeye mwenyewe satan labda akutumie lakini yeye mwenyewe hawezi so anakutumia wewe direct ndio unafanya lakini sio yeye wakati unafanya usherati sio shetani anafanya nani anafanya ni wewe wakati unaenda kuiba sio shetani anafanya nini anaiba ni nani lakini yeye anaingia kwako in a way ana control the flesh 
anakuweka tamaa ndio tunaita concupiscence tamaa katika mwili wako hii concupiscence ndiyo setani anatumia kukuweka tamaa ndio utende jambo fulani na wewe unatenda sasa ukitenda hiyo jambo sasa unakuta satan ame accomplish his purpose in this world kwa hivyo ndiyo tunasema sat yani christ was now to be tempted unto these two kingdom lazima ashinde ashinde mwili na akishinda huu mwili hata satan atakuwa bado atakuwa sasa anamshinda atamshinda hata satan so christ here he rejected the other bread and life and put his imagination into the word of god and he did it of the word of god sasawa and then the soul in the kingdom of heaven was predominant and the other body was as it were dead for the kingdom of heaven's sake kwa hivyo wakati ye alikataa wakati ye alikataa kabisa kucheji yani mawe iwe chakula akawa sasa the kingdom of this yani of the earth of this body it was sif it was now going it must die it was as if now it is dead yeah? it has no power in him lakini kama age change akule hagafanya nini hageshi hageshinda sio kama tunaelewana hageshinda kwa sababu yeye he came because of that and that's why sisi unakuta hata sasa sisi bado tunaendelea kukula tu na shetani bado anatufinya na ndio unaona ni ngumu sana saa hii kujitoa katika mitoa ya shetani kwa sababu ya huu mwili na ndio unaona nobody can be perfect akiwa ndani ya huu mwili ni ngumu sana kwa sababu satan ako na nini ako na jia nyingi sana anaweza kufanya nini kupita kwa hivyo sana kusema acha nirudie kidogo ndio labda tuelewe he rejected the earthly bread and life and he put his imagination into the word of god kwa hivyo hapa yeye alikataa akamwambia man cannot live on bread only but by the word of god but, but by the word of god which come from he, heaven kwa hivyo unaona amekataa neno la mungu ni kuamini mungu manake yeye alijua akiamini mungu kabisa na asimame even if he is going to die this body here but yeye on the, in the heavenly body atakuwa pamoja na nani na mungu That's why he rejected the other bread and life and he put his imagination into the word of God and he did eat of the word of the Lord and then the soul in the kingdom of heaven was predominant Ikawa as I have told you the soul it has two kingdom in it so wakati alishinda akataa ku, yani akataa kufuata mwili the soul Yani, yani the kingdom of, of heaven in the soul became pre- predominant ikawa ndio iko na nguvu ndani yake kwa hivyo kusema the kingdom of yani of darkness or hell ikapata a blow a blow ikagongwa sasa whereas yet it was yet it was not dead but it became the servant of the heavenly body and lost its potent dominion you see now There is one thing lakini hapo sitaki kuingia tutakuja kuona hata kana kwamba imekufa sio kumaanisha ati ati nikukufa vile watu wanafikiria nikukufa vingine in that it is it is yani uh, the, the heavenly kingdom inakuta ndio iko inakalia the earthly kingdom ama mwili unakuta ndio ina control Adam kama angesimama yeye age control mwili age control kila kitu na hakuna kitu ambaye ingekuwa juu yake kama angesimama na the word of god kama hangesikiza mwili aanguke awe under the power of the star angekuwa kama vile mwambia under the power of the star angekuwa sasa kwa sababu alianguka sasa yani the earthly kingdom ikawa predominant the heavenly ikawa dead that's why tunaambiwa spiritually we are dead we are dead sasa mm. so when christ did this the kingdom of hell had this mighty blow and was thus overcome 
Then the devil lost his right in the soul. Sasa. So, yet he said in himself, Thou hast a right in the other body. And somewhat was permitted to him. And then he looked, he took the body with the soul and set them upon the pinnacle of the temple. Sasa sinora hasa. Wakati hiyo alishindwa. Akasema sasa wacha tuende wapi? Eh? Majaribu hijaisha. The first one Christ amefanya nini? Ameshinda. Amesimama na the kingdom of God. Ame overcome will. Na hapo ndiyo tunaambiwa hata sisi if we are in Christ Jesus. Christ overcame for us. Hakuna kitu ambaye ni ya mwili inatakiwa kushinda wewe. Tamaa za mwili hakuna. Kwa sababu already yani mwili hii yetu is a defeated foe is a defeated enemy only satan wanga anarusha mishare kukuhangaisha kwa sababu anajua we haujielewi lakini yule ambaye amejielewa amejua kabisa kabisa that Christ has done it for us and we are in Christ na Christ has defeated who mwili hakuna tamaa ya mwili inatakiwa kushida a christian if you ukikataana na hiyo tamaa you are going to defeat it automatically huo mwili una, 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 unaenda na inakuwa hivyo kwa hivyo the second temptation akampandisa juu akamuonyesha miliki zote za ulimwengu kwa uh-huh. dakika moja uh-huh. ibilisi akamwambia nitakupa wewe enzi hii yote na fahari yake kwa kuwa imo mikononi mwangu nami humpa yoyote kama nipendavyo uh-huh. basi wewe ukisujudu mbele yangu yote yatakuwa yako you see now yeye yeah, sasa anakuja tena anamwambia he has lost the power ya huu mwili na when you come to the body now hii ilikuwa ni jaribio ya chakula. Now he has gone afar. Now sasa amuonesha now. Look here. If you are going to, to agree kama utakubali nikupatie nini? Nikupatie huu ulimwengu wote. Ndio sasa wewe uwe ni mtu ambaye ni tajiri. I am going to give you everything of this world. Remember. Remember Adam ile kitu Adam alifanya dio atamani ni kwa sababu alijua if you are going to eat this tree of no good and bad you will be like who like gods hamuoni watu wengi wanakuwa kama gods wakipata mali si ndio kwani unafikiri kwa nini watu wanapenda kuitwa mheshimiwa eh yeah? Watu kwa sababu wanataka wakipita pali watu wanafanya nini? So here it is the wealth of this world. The wealth of this world. Sasa anakuwa tempted if you are going to agree I'm going to to give you everything. And I mean it. People have never known why even Cain had to kill Abel. Cain had he thought that since the sacrifice of Abel was accepted he is going to take the dominion from him and Cain's mind was of this world this world he had taken the dominion he thought now this man since he's, he has been accepted he is going to take the dominion from me so he better die so that's why you see now Satan knows that a man in this body it is very easy to be tempted with worldly glory it's very easy very easy and he is going to fall in that that's why now he has failed with the food now he comes to the wealth because he knows that's another point ambaye eh uh, I need to test this man so that he may fall. So, sorry, thereby he went forth from God into the spirit of this world. 
so when we come to the second Adam, we must hold out the studying of the first Adam, whereby it was tempted or tried, whether the soul would continue in the new holy heavenly man and live in the in the mass of in the mass of God or in the spirit of this world. You see, when we come to the first Adam, the first Adam also stood at at these two power. Adam was tested or was tempted whether he's going to stand with the spirit of God or heaven, the spirit, or he is going to, to fall at the spirit of this world or worldly kingdom or worldly riches. The same thing is going to be repeated unto our Lord because the riches of this world was also very important and it replaced a lot of yani, a lot of uh, uh, place when you want to tempt man in this world. But as you are going to see, when Christ was tempted there. What did he say? I want that point. What did he say? Huh? Yesu akajibu akamwambia, imeandikwa. Msujudie Bwana Mungu wako, umwabudu yeye peke yake. Eh. Hey. Therefore the devil the devil hell and the king of this world were commanded to be gold and the valiant champion of the victory and, and, and got the victory and the devil was fain to get him gold and the other part was still overcome Unaona kila pahali Christ anafanya nini Anakataa Hata hapo anaambiwa ainame ndio apatiwe nini So how many Tuangalie saa hii ni watu wangapi wakati huu wanga wanainama wanainamia satan kwa sababu ya mali Ni watu wangapi ni, ni karibu wote Ni karibu wote Manaka hiyo temptation ameambiwaje hebu soma tena hiyo temptation ndio labda tushike vizuri ameambiwaje Akampandisa juu akamuonyesha miliki zote za ulimwengu kwa dakika moja Ibirisi akamwambia nitakupa wewe enzi hii yote na fahari yake kwa kuwa imo mikononi mwangu nami humpa yoyote kama nipendavyo Isi nao yeye anaonesha the whole world in a minute in fission Sisi hata tunaonesha ngo tu kitu kidogo sana Kitu kidogo sana tu hata ni utajiri tu kidogo sana ambaye tunaonesha hapa duniani lakini nakuta all of sudden mtu ameanguka mtu ameanguka kwa sababu ya pesa na ni mambo hapa duniani unakuta kabisa umerudi pade ya mwili automatically wewe umeenda pade ya mwili lakini sat yani lakini our lord unaona kabisa kabisa yeye alikataa hata wakati anaambiwa ni ni yani inama nikupatie yeye alisimama so this temptation ya tufurisha namna gani that even as tukiwa watoto wa Mungu lazima tukatae mambo yote ya mwili si sema watu wakatae chakula manaka we have to eat lakini hiyo Christ overcame for us but all temptations zote ambayo satan huanga nafanya tujue zote tunakuwa sorry all temptation ambayo Christ was tempted we must know also we are tested daily tujue kila wakati huanga tunakuwa tested na hatuwezi overcome hata sisi wenyewe hatuwezi overcome without Christ lazima tuelewe that Christ was tempted and he defeated the yani satan na kwa kweli hata sisi tujue because he defeated hata sisi tutashinda so the next temptation ilikuwa ni gani hebu tumalisia ya nine mhm mm akamuongoza mpaka Yerusalemu mhm mm akamweka juu ya kinara cha hekalu mm -hmm. akamwambia ukiwa ndiwe mwana wa Mungu mm -hmm. jitupe chini mm -hmm. kwa maana imeandikwa atakuagizia malaika zake wa kulinde mm -hmm. jitupe chini jitupe chini sasa hapo ilikuwa ni majaribu ya aina gani kwa nini anaambia ajitupe chini hmm? kwa nini This is the right flattering spirit. 
wherewith the devil would fain always fly above the throne over the deity. It is pride. Manake jitupe. Because sababu wewe ukijitupa utafanya nini? Utaokolewa. But is that the way the kingdom of God is? No. Hakuna pahali yani imesemekana ati wewe ujitupe. Kuna pahali imeandikwa hivyo? No, kuna pahali imeandikwa. Nataka tuione iko wapi. Ebi some kwa kuwa atakuagizia malaika zake wakulinde katika njia zako zote. Eh. So was was Satan was that a temptation 12 mm. Mikononi mwao watakuchukua usije ukajikua mguu wako katika jiwe. Eh. Kiingereza soma Mm -hmm. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Mm, that is good. You see now, here, God is saying, if by chance it ha you happen to, to be met, or to come into trouble, my angels will do what? Protect will protect you. If, if by chance you happen to fall down from a building, my angels will protect you and you won't be hurt as much as that. You know, people don't believe it is that way. Sometimes I like to give narrations which I went through. Uh, in Kwari, nilikuwa kwa Kwari. Na nilikuwa kuna mawe nilikuwa na chimba pale chini. Na hii mawe we used uh, the tarimbo. Kuna mawe ilikuwa imewachana huko nyuma. Na hii mawe kale kama mawe nilikuwa natoa pale. Kama ninge happen nikatoe hata sikitoka hapo. Hiyo mawe yote Zige, ige niangukia yote in fact nikuja kujua baada lakini hata mimi wakati nilikuwa nafanya siku anajua so nataka kuonesha how the angels wanga inasaidia watoto wa Mungu sasa mimi wakati niko pale na nimekaa tu hivi sasa nafikiria hii kama vile nitatoa nilisikia kuna mawe sijui litoka wapi ni, ni kama nimekaa nikagongwa hapa pap na nguvu Paka kufanya hivi nikaona ni, ni, ni damu inatoka. Ah nikatoka haraka nika nikasema acha niende hospitali kwa sababu niliona nimegogwa lakini kasito hii mawe imenigoga namna gani. So hakuna vile sasa nikerudi pale kufanya nini? Kuendelea. Kuendelea kutoa kale kama nilikuwa natoa. Mimi nikaenda hospitali maana nilikuwa pale pale. Nikaribu hapo ni hapa ruiru tu hapa hapa ruiru tu nikakuja hapo lakini nikaona sitarudi kwa kwale. But let me tell you Mimi niliambiwa wakati mimi nilitoka pale nikaenda within some minute ile kwa wale mawe ilianguka pale kama ijaguzwa na nani na mtu ikajaza hiyo yani mawe kubwa sana wakani hata watu hata watu wenyewe uaga wanaongea wasema wewe ni Mungu alikuwa anakuondoa pale ndio ondoke uondoke maana hakuna vile mimi ningeondoka pale kama sijafanya nini kama sijagongwa you see now, so it was an injury, and by he injury, do you get any? You talk a party, Nazinger Kidogo, you talk a party, and the end, because I'm with you, you could last when you talk a party, and the end of hospital, and I could read the dam. So that is the angel of God will help, will help you. Miss Yoni, Sioni, he mawe pare numa, he can get to not to happen, Nika Kiwachiri, he may not have any. Itakuja. Manana, ni, na siyo futi kidogo. Unafikini ni kwale sayo ni futi gapi. Kweta juu. It's, a, it's around 30 feet. Juu. Kwa hivyo ni kitu ambaye. Hata kutoka step moja. Watu wanakufia pale kwa kware wengi sana. So hapo ni unasema. The angel. Because that was an angel. Yeli ya likuja. Haka make sure wame nigonga. Kabisa. 
such that mwanake alisikwa sikudanganyi mimi yao kama ya pali kalitoka sijui kalitoka wapi lakini mai ilikuja ikanigonga hapo nikakufanya hivi nikaona hii ni damu na inamwagika sana nikatoka nikaona kabisa hata japo mmoja kaniambia ai hapana hiyo kitu inaonekana ni kali wewe ndio hospitali you see now so that is the angel that's why that's why he is saying many times sio mimi peke yangu watu wengi sana usaidiwa na malaika na wajui the god yani they can help you in many situations at a accident there even some accident ambayo waka zinafanyika unaenda unakuta gari imeisha mpaka mtu mwenyewe una ukiulizwa huyu wako wapi unaweza kusema huyo mtu hayuko lakini unakuta huyo mtu unaambiwa hakuguzwa unaambiwa gari vile unaiona that person hakuguzwa so hapo ndio sasa that verse inamaanisha but Satan here is telling yani Christ waya tuli sasa kwa kwa, kwa nini anamwambia jirushe sasa hiyo ni kumaanisha nini eh ni kumaanisha wewe kwa sababu wewe ni mwana wa Mungu you have power you have also power to yani eh, ku command Malaika wafanya nini? Wakulinde. Wa, wa but neno la Mungu limesema hivyo. Halisemi hivyo. Kwa hivyo nikumaanisha kama Christ angesikia Satan vile amesema, Satan Christ ameingia the same place ile Satan ilifanya Satan wakosane na nani? Na Mungu. Bana ile kitu si Satan walikosana na Mungu ni kwa sababu Satan when he realized that the power he has because he could he had certain could control many things watu wajui even certain wakati aliaguka alifungwa dio asiweza kufanya his own creations from the dark side watu wajui satan even can create things very dangerous things kwa hivyo sasa wakati satan alijua kwa na power yeye he wanted to be used, yani to be to, to, yani to be above Christ. Sasa atumie nini? Hiyo opportunity amepatiwa. Lakini Satan hakujua wakati amejiinua kidogo kuliko Mungu, ikawa Christ amemuondokea akabaki peke yake. Ndio akarudi at the darkness. Because sasa hii wakati amejiinua pride wakati likuja sasa immediately akaruhusu Christ akarudi in the darkness. So wakati sasa anaambia Christ jirushe and you command anamwambia nini hata wewe ni kama nani You see now hata wewe ni kama Mungu So sasa kama Christ hage jua So if Christ hage kuwa with the mind of God to understand this temptation yeye yeah, angeona kweli Satan anamwambia yani the right the right thing ndio anamwambia the right thing lakini yani Christ alijua that yeye yeah, atakana kwamba yeye ni mwana wa Mungu but yeye he is the son but there is the father there is the father he is the son of god but there is the father na, na his father hajasema hivyo na yeye hasi kwenda juu ya his father na yeye si ati ni ati, ati ni accident imefanyika ndio asaidiwe sasa hapo ndio anafanya nini anakataa kama ni binadamu Eh? Huh? Sasa hii si unaona watu wanaambia wengine kujeni muone miujiza. Ati ati muone muone mimi nikifanya miujiza. Nani alikuwa nani waga anawaambia na hakuna miujiza wanaambia watu wakuje wafanye. So, lazima tuelewe that these temptations this was as a result of pride. Lakini sasa eh, Christ alisema namna gani? Yesu akajibu akamwambia Imeneno Usimjaribu bwana Mungu wako. Yesu akasema usimjaribu bwana Mungu wako. Kwa hivyo Satan was there also defeated. So here the soul of Christ must be accurately tempted to try whether it would it would seeing it had retained the heavenly bread fly out of fly out also in pride in the might of the fire you see now in the might of the fire 
Yeye Satan anajua. Isaas ni ngumu. The moment Christ amemjaribu Mungu. The moment Christ amejitupa amesema atajitupa yani chini. Hata hata kuwa angalia hapa nimewaambia from the beginning nikamwambia God ni mara mbili the merciful god and the god of anger ambaye hapa ni fire na satan ako pande huu manaka wakati aliruzi hapa alirudi hapa kwa hivyo satan akiwa hapa anajua huyu Christ akijaribu kujiruku yani kusema ati atajirusha chini jaokolewe ile nguvu atakuwa naye atakuwa na, anaitumia haitakuwa imetoka from the merciful god itakuwa imetoka from the anger of god kwa hivyo christ atakuwa kama nani shetani manake itakuwa ni pride ambaye pride inatoka from the anger from the dark side of god kwa hivyo satan anajua yeye the moment akisema hivyo automatically pride na akiruka atarudi pande hii kwa hivyo naye Christ atarus the second principle na he is going to be defeated kwa hivyo Christ ndio hapo anamwambia binadamu afanye nini usifanye nini usimujaribu maana yeye satani aliyaku kwa sababu alimjaribu yeye kwa sababu aliona ako na nguvu akarudi na hizo nguvu kutaka ku create things above Christ kwa nguvu zake na yeye for that purpose akarudi pande ya anga akawa the prince of anger up to day hmm? akawa the prince of anger even up to today kwa hivyo kumaanisha sisi nasi sisi nasi ambaye ni watoto wa Mungu lazima tuelewe some of these temptation tujue Christ overcame na kwa sababu he overcame we also overcame in, in him only kile kitu ambaye imebaki kwetu ni, ni kimoja hatujawachana na huu mwili mwili huu sisi tuko naye na huu mwili tumeibakisha tume ndio iwe part of our temptations ndio sasa wakati tunakataana na huu mwili kama vile Christ amekataa we are yani we are yani we are preparing our soul to have a predominance of heaven unajua nilishangaa sana unajua mtu anaweza kuuliza kwa nini basi tulibakishwa mwili na huu mwili wa dhambi unakwambia huu mwili ile kazi unafanya ni kazi ya maana sana manake huu mwili uta make sure ndio unasafisha your soul by the time unatoka katika huu mwili your soul pahali itakuwa predominant hapo ndio itaenda if it is hell kama mwili ndio umeshinda katika hii dunia utaenda wapi hell kama ukilala hivi unalala ukiwa tamaa zako zilikuwa ta, ni za mwili ujue your soul ikiwachana na mwili yako inawachana ikiwa na predominance of hell na utaenda hapo straight. Kama unawachana na huu mwili ukiwa you are predominant it is your soul in the predominance in heaven na mambo ya mwili imeshinda utaenda heaven straight. Utaenda heaven straight. Kwa hivyo nikumaanisha huu mwili ambaye tumebakishiwa tujue sisi already Christ ameshinda. Ile Christ anataka ni tukataane na mambo yote ya mwili ndio kabisa kabisa wakati tunakuja kuachana na huu mwili tuwe kabisa kabisa katika hii dunia tumekufa huu mwili. Hatuhusikii tena. Na tukisema tumekufa kama Kristo anasema ni kama vile Christ alienda kaburini akarara. He died this body. Akava huu mwili. And when he rose again ali, aliamuka hange kula chakula tena na mdomo. Unajua hivyo? Manake yeye aliattain ali the Jericho nature. Hakuwa hangeenda choo tena. <laughs> Kwani tucheka mwangi? Ni ukweli. Yeye aliamuka wakati aliyana pale kaburini akiamuka. Aliamuka sasa akiwa the first akiwa a Jericho person, the second Adam. Alikuwa ameattain the first Adam. Vile alikuwa. Kwa hivyo alikuwa ameshinda mwili. The only thing hapa ile alifanyika 
hapa sasa kuna pahali watu waka ha- hawajui Kristo wakati alilala yeye hakuacha mwili wake kaburini aliacha yeye ali, aliamka na ule mwili he never saw corruption ni kwa sababu kuna science kubwa sana pale inasema the 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 body of Christ he was God and man kwa hivyo he had what we call heavenly earth ambaye ni mwili wa, wa Mungu na earthly body hii earthly body ilitoka kwa hii it is this one in spirit wakati dhabi ingia ikabadilika ikawa hii so wakati satan wakati christ alishinda there was within a fraction of yani in, katika kaburini manake alilala pale kaburini siku ngapi siku tatu siku tatu these three days ukihesabu utaona eh, adam pale akicheji dio a change it was eh uh, 40 days unaona hizi 40 days 40 days ndio inakuja pale tunakuja wana wa Israeli walikaa jagwani miaka ngapi miaka 40 Moses alikaa pale in the mountain miaka siku ngapi 40 sasa sawa eh Yesu Kristo alikaa siku ngapi pale kaburini tatu hizo ni masaa ngapi Yeah? So hapa these 40 hours hapa Christ ambaye analala hizo masiku hapo kuna operation kali sana inaendelea because hapo there is what we call kama vile Adam wakati alilala these 40 yani 40 days akiamka alizikuta hako na nini <laughs> yeah? na akajikuta hako na bi kwa hivyo nini ili change ni operation gani iliendelea pale si unaona kuna some yani some mystical things ambayo still happen ama is kwani huyu 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 mwanamke hata kama unasikia ni ubafu hii bafu litolewa namna gani ikawa kuamka akakuja bibi yako pale so christ when he died also akaenda pale kaburini hapo operation wakati alichomwa pale si alichomwa hapa ikawa kuna operation pale imefanyika there and there wakati amelala pale for 40 days ikawa mwili wake umefanya nini umebadilika umekuwa angel angelic body amepata the, the angel body nikumaanisha wakati anatoka pale kaburini Christ alikuwa hana mwili kama huu wetu tena alikuwa mwili ndio huu yes lakini all the organs ambayo tuko nazo hakuwa na hakuwa nazo tena hata matumbo hakuwa naye. Tunaelewana? Hata matumbo hakuwa naye. Already alikuwa amebadilika. Maraka alikuja kuchange sisi ndio tufanye nini? Ndio turudi kama vile tulikuwa. Kwa hivyo yeye aliamka exactly akiwa complete kama vile Adam alikuwa. Tunaelewana pale? Hivyo ni kumaanisha hivyo ni kumaanisha eh, hata sisi Tofauti yetu na, ye, na, na, na yeye ni kwa sababu sisi tunakufa wakati hujafanya nini haujafika lakini wale ambaye watakufa siku za mwisho wale ambaye atakuja akirudi watakutikana wa, wako hai wale watachenjiwa hawataona mauti umeona na nini they will be changed wata hii mwili tabadilishwa within a second si miandikwa ni Corinthian ngapi hebu soma Corinthian first Corinthian 15 52 soma kwa dakika moja kufumba na kufungua wakati wa parapanda ya mwisho maana parapanda italia na wafu watafufuliwa wasiwe na uharibifu nasi tutabadilika That is it. Kwa hivyo unaona si ati itakuwa ni kitu ambaye tusielewe. The same thing happened happened with our Lord. Yeah, yeah he was changed. Wakati anaamka alikuwa already amefanya nini? Amebadilika. So nikumaanisha hata sisi 
wakati sasa tutafuka we shall yani tutakuwa sasa tutakuwa na mili tofauti kwa sababu we shall be changed because our lord already tutakuwa sasa hatutaweka our body tutakuwa sasa tumepatiwa mwili wa nani wa Kristo ambaye ni mwili ambaye hauozi tena ule alifufuka na alifufuka naye kwa hivyo nikimalizia kwa sababu ya masaa Christ was crucified among two thieves si ni kweli hizi hawa waizi wa, wa, wawili watu hawajai kujua walikuwa wanamaanisha nini these two thieves nimesema kuna first principle second principle and the third the third principle ni mwili this world the first principle ni hell hawa waizi wawili hawa ndio walimuiba nani Adam wa wa kwanza hawa ndio walimuiba Adam wa kwanza manake Adam wa kwanza was taken Satan alinsaidi yeye mpaka aka fall akawa under the dominion of the stars kwa hivyo nikumaanisha the same Christ anakuja kuwa at the cross anaangikwa pamoja na nani na these two thieves one ana represent hell na huyu mwingine ana represent the third principle ambaye ni huu mwili na ndio unaona the same two thieves hapa wana represent the elect and the wicked wale ambao ni watoto wa mwili their origin hata kana kwamba wako na huu mwili their origin is hell they have nothing to do with the second principle na huyu ndio aliambia Christ kwa nake ametoka kwa shetani alimwambia ni mna gani kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu sijiokoe kwa na na huyu mwingine alimwambia ni mna gani nasema vibaya sisi tuko na makosa yetu na huyu ana makosa yeah sisi tuko na makosa you see now the child of god ambaye alikuwa anakuwa represented with the third principle ako katika mwili lakini yeye ametoka wapi ni mwana wa nani ni mwana wa Mungu akaona dhambi zake so Christ was crucified among two thieves ambaye hawa it is the first principle hell ambaye the first the first uh, Adam was crucified and attracted these two people these two thieves ndio walimuiba Christ so Christ was one crucified these two also must be must must be also be crucified in who in us nikusema they should not have any predominance in a, a christian mambo ya mwili fanya nini you are crucified mambo ya hell ambayo in the spirit of the devil you are nini Cru- crucified now when we say hell ama the spirit of the devil ni pra- pride sasa so, So unless kuna mtu ako na swali nafikiri katika temptations naenda nikimalizia. Uh, so here tumeona the, the devil masterpiece anatumia the word of God to defend himself. That's why hata ukiona ukuta watu wengine ukisimama na ukweli watatumia the same scripture kupinga nani? Kupinga wewe. And that's why tunaambiwa wewe ukiwa mwana wa Mungu don't argue. Usiagwe na nani? Na watu. Manake even the devil himself can use the scripture to fight you. Na hata mkiagwe hata watu wengine wakiwa karibu na hapo wanasema na kweli wewe ndio hata hujui. You see now, kwa hiyo kwa sababu umeona Satan alikuwa anatumia yale mambo even hii ya chakula anaambiwa fanya hii iwe nini? Yote anajua it is written lakini alikuwa na jaribu Yesu Kristo lakini Christ only defeated because alikuwa mwana wa Mungu na alikuwa na study the scripture na alikuwa na ielewa kwa hivyo tujue usipojua ukweli Satan atafanya nini atakuwa hai Amen, Amen.